It's time for love readings. You're going to get the most out of this love reading if you watch it for your moon sign. This video right here, if you haven't seen it, will tell you why. There's a link in the description box below so you can go right to that to find out why. Um, but regardless of whether you're watching this for your moon sign, which you should be, um, or, or not, whatever, um, I just want to tell you what we are covering today. What do you need to let go of? Um, what what are you attracting this month in regards to love? What's out of your control? And then what act, what do you need to take action on? We're going to look at singles, couples, and then it's complicated situations. So that could be polyamorous. Maybe um, you're talking to each other, but it's not Facebook official yet. On again, off again, whatever that is. I'm going to do singles first, then couples, and then it's complicated last. The reason being because sometimes when it's complicated, pieces of the single reading and the couple's reading will resonate hard for you and you might wanna go and watch those pieces as well, okay? Um, I think I already said, but this reading is from now until June 15th. Um, and the reason why I go half month to half month is because I put out the general readings at the beginning of every month and then money readings um, also right after that. So let's get started. Oh, I'm using the Gilded Tarot deck today. If you're wondering what that's about, there's a link in the description box below if you wanna purchase one. I don't sell them, but um, if you get it through the affiliate link, I might get like two or three cents from that and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So you're just helping a sister out to keep making these videos. Pisces singles, what do you need to let go of? And they're just saying, um, you need to let go of this magical thinking that you're so wonderful that just like the right person's going to show up at your door set up. Now, number one, you are super wonderful. You have a lot to offer in relationships, okay? They're not denying that. They're saying that part's true. But the right person isn't just going to show up without you co-creating the situation in reality for them to show up in your life. So they're saying like, you just might not be feeling like going out and trying to communicate with others, like you know, reaching out and trying to grow relationships. They're saying it's challenging because it's a lot of work. You're right. It is a lot of work. But that work could pay off for you, okay? So what is it that you're attracting right now? And they're saying, well, you're attracting, you know, good things kind of poof happening for you overnight. As far as looking for love goes, somebody could show up overnight, but you have to put in that little bit of effort, okay? So um, what's outside of your control? And they just say, um the emotional balance of other people. Now you're in a good emotional space actually to attract the right partner, to meet the right person, but um, maybe not everybody else is. Now the majority of people that you would be attracted to would be. So if you make affirmations for yourself, you just say, I'm attracted um, only to people who are in the right space and place for a relationship, right? People who are ready for a relationship. They're saying you have control there. And like, actually you come across as more attractive than usual this month. And so it's a really good time to be looking for a partner. Um, what is it that you need to take action on this month? They're like, well, continue to try to keep things as balanced as you can. If you can create actually kind of like a schedule for yourself, like a routine for yourself, like especially if you're not working right now, um, so you know what to expect on the day to day, try to at least get up at the same time or something like that, that would be good. And then um, try not to move too far away from where you are. Like now is not a good time for a trip. It's not a good time to move homes because the person that you're trying to attract is likely pretty local. Um, and so they're saying, you know, if you can build a routine for yourself, somehow that does benefit you in your search and your quest. And they're saying it doesn't seem obvious, like it doesn't like necessarily help the right person um, show up, but it does help you to stay on track in like working on looking for the right person. And it um, helps you to avoid any sort of like fear or annoyance that, you know, it's, it's challenging to meet the right person. Um, because having that be like a stable thing that you can count on helps you to feel good in other areas of your life and to maintain that balance in your life that um, puts you in a good spot to receive a new partner. Okay, so for those of you who are coupled, they're saying, if you are one of those who is feeling, hey, this is happily ever after, I'm super content, I'm loving my partner, um, they're like, we aren't really talking to you. <laughs> so they wanna start with those of you who um, 
have something on your mind about your relationship, okay? So um, for those of you ha who have something on your mind that you know that it's like something you need to address but you haven't yet, what do you need to let go of? Um, this idea that you don't have any choice, that you don't have any options within your relationship. You know, if you're not really excited about it, maybe it's because some of you just don't want the same thing as your partner anymore. And you know, if you're feeling alone in your relationship, then maybe it's time for you just to be alone and break it off. So what are you attracting right now? And they're like defensiveness, honestly, you're putting walls up and therefore your partner would be too. So what's outside of your control? Um, they're like, well, you're open to receive love, maybe not as much as you used to be because you have some walls up here, right? But um, your partner could loft something over that wall. And I mean, I think that's a good thing, but some of those um, walls that you have built are sort of mirroring your partner. You know, it's because they have walls up, so do you to some degree. And so, you know, what is it that you need to take action on? And they're like, some of you just need to get the fuck out of this relationship, honestly. Like, end it so you can have a new beginning with somebody else. Now, for those of you who are really happy and content in your relationship, what do you need to let go of? This concept that, like, um, everything is fair and balanced and, you know, like, you're never going to have to give more than your partner or they're never going to have to give more to the situation than you. Like, we're super happy right now, but there will be challenges in the future. So don't get into that magical thinking sort of situation. Understand that work that you put in now, your partner will for you later, or at least you hope they will, right? So what are you attracting into your relationship right now? Rest and ease. But it's not really um, strengthening and deepening the intimacy and connectedness in the relationship. And so they're saying, you know, that might be something you want to work on quickly so that we don't end up in a position in which we take our partner for granted or conversely that they take us for granted. So what's outside of your control? And they say, um, you know, if not both of you are working right now, one of you might have to go back to work or there might be um, something changing related to work and routine. And so what kind of actions do you need to take? And it's similar to what the Pisces singles had, where it's like creating a routine or um, kind of like a schedule. And I know it sounds silly, but in your in your relationship, if you were to, for example, um, set up something like in your calendar on your cell phone that, you know, twice a month you have it in there just to send like a sexy text message to your partner to buy them flowers or something like that. Um, if you just randomly put that in there, then that will help to grow and strengthen and deepen your relationship actually. I know it sounds stupid, but little things like that can go a long way. Is there anything else that you need to know? And they're just like, um, you know, the biggest thing is starting new things in your day-to-day -day life might have an effect. And so, you know, right now where you're at, where while things are good, kind of adding even more good things will help you out so that, you know, when stressors pop up later, they're not as stressful. So for those of you in complicated situations and relationships, they're just like, now's a good time for you to rest. Like you don't really know fully what it is that you want. And so it's a good time to kind of just take a step back for a minute, get more sleep, get better quality sleep, things like that. So what do you need to let go of? They're like, well, there's a lot of healing happening while you're resting, while you're sleeping. So there's nothing necessarily in the front of your mind that you need to heal and let go of, but there is some healing that has to happen. So what are you attracting right now? And they're like this me time, that you time, emotional balance for yourself. What's outside of your control? And so I guess that's kind of like why they're giving you that guidance, right? That's what you're attracting. You need that time for yourself. Um, so, you know, what's outside of your control? This kind of feeling of the blahs. It's alternating between like, ugh, I feel nothing. But okay, I'm also kind of happy. And then, you know, some of you might feel like you're stuck in a toxic situation. And that might be why, you know, you're feeling happy and then you're kind of feeling nothing and then you're like but maybe it's worth sticking around for those happy high points um what should you be taking action on in your relationships and they're like those of you who need to take an action you already know for some of you this is going to have to do with your day-to-day -day routines and um work types of things but they're like honestly you just need to kind of step outside of the relationship and think about yourself and what's good for you right now instead of being um kind of really overly invested in this complicated situation right now. It's all about you and what do you need in the moment every single day. I'll see you next month. Love you.